The Saginaw Children's Zoo had some great new things happen last year. From animal residents, programs, events, and more, we helped bring people of all ages closer with nature and created extraordinary experiences. Here are our 17 favorite things that happened in 2017. Living Learning Lab, a free hands-on learning experience offered to third graders in the Great Lakes Bay region, thrived in 2017. In 2018, we're looking forward to another record-breaking year. Have you seen our outdoor classroom? Partnered with the Saginaw Basin Land Conservancy, we created a space for outdoor education where people of all ages can take a seat and explore with nature. Not only is the outdoor classroom a great spot to spend time learning outside, it also serves as the trailhead to the new zoo trail. The Saginaw Basin Land Conservancy helped the Saginaw Children's Zoo create a nature trail connecting the zoo to Jefferson Street. It's the perfect place to get out, get some exercise, and get connected with wildlife in the middle of the city. Did you walk the 1K9 with us? In July of 2017, we debuted a new event putting the zoo trail to good use. The 1K9 brought together individuals who share our passion for animals with organizations and rescues featuring furry, four-legged friends looking for their forever homes. Not only did we help dogs and cats find families, but we also donated the proceeds to the Saginaw Valley Police Canine Association. This is surely an event you won't want to miss in 2018. The Saginaw Children's Zoo participated in the Adopt-A-Highway program. Thanks to your help, we helped two miles of land regain life and created a ripple effect with conservation in the Great Lakes Bay region. Did you know we also participated in the Saginaw Riverfront Beautification Day? 2017 was no exception. We removed over 68 bags of garbage and helped Saginaw shine a little bit brighter. In 2017, we added Saginaw back into the children's zoo. We wanted to call ourselves what everyone else already does. Collaborating with Family Life Radio, the Saginaw Children's Zoo hosted Family Life Radio Day, featuring fun carnival games, activities, a canned food drive for the East Side Soup Kitchen, and more. We love this day of fun in the sun while giving back to our community. Family Nature Club, a free monthly program started in 2017 where we welcomed all ages for an hour of nature play, pure, unimaginable fun, and fresh air. Also introduced this year is Backyard Biology, another fun way to learn about your backyard plant and animal friends. 563. That's how many Sand Hill Cranes were counted during our Crane Wildlife Survey in 2017. We help monitor local populations of cranes and report our data in hopes of sustaining this beautiful species. We not only survey cranes, but we also surveyed frogs, toads, and bats. Since we are all connected throughout this amazing planet, we helped monitor these indicator species in the wild. With the help of citizen science surveys such as the Michigan Frog and Toad Survey and the Citizen Bat League, we were able to collect valuable data that is used to make decisions protecting local wildlife. We added six ambassador animals to the Saginaw Children's Zoo family. Look out for Clyde the Umbrella Cockatoo, Olive the Cat, Andy the Chinchilla, Mishanga and Tombi the Kenyan Sandboas, and Rosa, the Mexican red knee tarantula, at an upcoming amphitheater show. Here we grow again. With your help, we distributed family coupons to children who receive free or reduced lunches in the Saginaw Public School Districts. Our friends over at STARS Bus System also gave these visitors free transportation. In 2018, we hope to continue this successful program and grow even larger into our surrounding communities. There are a few more dogs in the house. In 2017, we added 10 playful prairie dogs to this fun and engaging exhibit. Have you said hello to Ms. Pack? 
Our newest African penguin resident came for a stay from the Maryland Zoo last year. One of the other AZA-accredited facilities committed to giving this endangered species the help it needs to thrive. In 2017, our record high of 110,000 visitors met Izzy and Rachel, the Mexican gray wolves, for the first time. Extinct in the wild in 1980 and reintroduced to the wild starting in 1998, this species of wolf is one of the most endangered mammals in North America. The Saginaw Children's Zoo is thankful that we can play an important role in helping save them from extinction. Thanks to you, we got on the right track with our Year of the Train project to make the Ibershoff special accessible to all. In 2017, we raised and broke ground on this important project. The Saginaw Children's Zoo acquired not only one, but two train cars that are identical to our existing train seating. Thanks to local companies, organizations, and supporters, we were able to make our dreams a reality of having the iconic Little Red Train certifiably accessible for those with special needs by summer of 2018. Living landscapes played a huge role by helping the Saginaw Children's Zoo lower portions of the track to allow clearance under the bridge. They began alterations at the depot to help our visitors get on and off the train with ease. They also helped work on the stone retaining wall that follows the train track near the tunnel and train garage expansion. With a growing train, our train garage needed to grow too. This garage expansion couldn't have been so successful without the help of Rody Brothers Excavating, Harmer Steel, Bergman Construction, Pro Build of Saginaw, Mid Michigan Truss and Components, Larking Painters, Delta Door Sales, Eichenhout, Wobig Construction, GW Heating and Cooling, Van Herwig Electric, and Valley Glass Company. With their help, the Saginaw Children's Zoo can easily take the locomotive or any of its cars off the track for storage and maintenance with a fun, kid-themed makeover to our train tunnel. What's the year of the train project without the train? An incredible amount of work went into the design of the handicap accessible train cars by Snyder and Staley Engineering. The custom design and manufacturing work is being completed by Barney's Welding and Fabricating. The custom painting of the locomotive and train cars is being done by Al Rogers. And last but not least, Eric Smith and others from Mike's Wrecker Service not only traveled to Pennsylvania to retrieve the new train cars that are to become accessible, but are continuing to support the Saginaw Children's Zoo with fabrication and other work. Our main reason is we've been bringing our kids and grandkids for the past 40 years. So we like the zoo, so we like like to help improve on it. On the on the train, I noticed I was here in October, and one of my workers had to wait for four trains before they got to ride on it. So when Gary came to me and says, "Look, we're buying another train. We're adding more cars, but we have to do track work," I said, "Yeah, we'll help." Our role was to pick up the track and the rails and then lower it so the engineer didn't have to duck when he went underneath the track and also to add the new spur that went to the new barn um, so that was our main role. Well my name is Ken Karna from Barney's Welding and Fabricating and it was brought to my attention that the zoo has been almost 100 years and with the train running it's not handicap accessible so when it came to me with the project I was more than happy to take interest in it and do, you know, build it so that the handicapped accessible can ride the train. So it's been going great. Um, as you can see, we have, you know, for the wheelchair to, to get in here, we're going to have the ramp on there for both sides. And no, it's been awesome. Good feeling to do up. We we're real happy on the progress that we're making. And we're learning a lot as we go. Thank you so much to all the businesses and supporters who helped make our dreams a reality. What was your favorite thing about the Saginaw Children's Zoo in 2017? We are continuing to work to make 2018 the best year possible and help make new, lasting memories with our visitors and create a positive impact in the Saginaw community and beyond.